blessings and blessings from the beautiful, sunny Playa Vista, California. I'm excited to be having a chat, a conversation with you all about something that um, I think deserves a conversation. And the funniest part is that I didn't even want to have the conversation about the quote unquote topic. I want to talk about how we view the topic, how we view the subject, where we go within that. Um, so as a few of you jump on here, and I think I may retitle this because I think that there's something really interesting, something really interesting happened recently um, where I had a conversation with a friend and he was sharing how his lover, his partner, his I think it's his wife, uh, slapped him with a cell phone in her hand. Uh, and this is recent. Really hard. And two things are interesting about this. One, I've had that happen to me. I've been punched in the face by a girlfriend before. I've had my windows broken um, and many other things. And not once ever in my life have I hit a woman or even pushed a woman really hard. Anything. Um, I've gotten in a woman's face before, um, for sure. However, as he was telling me this, as he was telling me about abuse, straight up domestic fucking violence, um, it didn't even register that either one of us didn't find that to be troubling. And what's interesting about that is if that was a conversation and it was a woman, we would be saying, did you call the police? You need to leave immediately. Um, you need to break up with that person. Don't do it again. Like our whole conversation would be different if it was a woman who slapped a man. I mean, a man who slapped a woman with a cell phone across the face. Um, for those of you jumping in, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of reshare the story just a little bit. Um, and I'll share it with the backdrop of there's a, there's a new buzzword and it's an interesting conversation and I want to preface all of this by saying that for those of you who legitimately know for a fact that you were in a narcissistic relationship with somebody who you attracted um, and stayed with awesome like I feel for you and I think there's a lot of wounded justifying. Can it be true? Is it a fact that every single person who found this new buzzword was dating a narcissist and it's always the same man? Can that be true? Is that a fucking fact? Do we know for sure that every single man that didn't acquiesce to your needs, who was an asshole at times, just like you were, was in fact a narcissist. Can we be sure of that? This is the, the, the issue I have with buzzwords. This is the issue I have with us being like fucking sheep whenever a new thing is put out there. Personal responsibility. And this is where I wanna go with this. I was having a conversation with a friend and the friend was telling me that the week before his wife slapped him with a cell phone in her hand across his face and neither one of us was shocked or surprised neither one of us were like oh you should call the police you're dating a narcissist neither one of us had this conversation and then we commenced to have a conversation about how i was once punched in the fucking face face with a fist in the face by my girlfriend I've also had my windows broken out. I've also had different girlfriends threaten to kill themselves if we didn't stay together. All of this, I never labeled. She's a narcissist. And I find that it's interesting. Because, hmm. I put up a post yesterday. And on my Instagram and my Facebook, but really my Instagram. And it happened a couple times on Facebook as well. 
a few people instantly made the, the, the connection between me diminishing these abused women and I'm, uh, I'm diminishing women's women, women, women and they made it about men and women which I think the deeper conversation is is women are fucking dicks too like this idea that women are just these uh, you know, innocent victims and men aren't experiencing abuse and or just, not just dysfunctional toxic relationships dysfunctional toxic relationships you know, I believe in the law of attraction and it states that we don't attract what we want, it, we attract what we are. We attract what we're vibrating from. And this idea that somehow you're the vibrating angel and you attracted this terrible man who's only a narcissist and you were such a victim and victim, victim, victim and I'm such a victim and I hold this victim card and I share it and I wave it everywhere I go so I get my sympathy. I think that that is actually bullshit. And I get that some of you guys aren't gonna like me for calling this forward. But that's my job. Everybody has a different job in, 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 in this world. My job, as Preston Smiles, is to share my truth. People can be abused. People can be assholes. People can have aspects of their personality that is wounded, that causes others to feel less than themselves. That does not make them a narcissist. It doesn't mean that everyone who's ever done anything bad or broke up with you or fucked you over in any way is a narcissist. That's the problem I have. For those of you who have been in narcissistic relationships and you know because the person has been diagnosed with that, fan-fucking-tastic. I feel your pain. That's not an easy thing. For those of you who know for a fact but you can't read an article or watch a fucking video and, and, and then decide that every ex-boyfriend you ever had or your parents and everybody else are all narcissists because you read that damn article. Yes, we need to learn the differences between because this idea that everyone is, is it really upsets me and if you go on YouTube right now, you'll find over a hundred thousand videos that, that are connected to this and gaslighting and narcissists and gaslighting and narcissists, right? Like, yes and personal responsibility. Yes and law of attraction. Yes and there. I don't believe in toxic people. I believe in toxic combinations. I think that people, that each and every one of us has a raging asshole inside of us. And sometimes that raging asshole comes out when in combination with another raging asshole. And the raging asshole, when we drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, it's just a wounded little boy or girl trying to figure out how to be in the world. Ooh, let it fucking land. Just a wounded little boy or girl trying to figure out how it is and how to be. Now, Sue, you said he's still trying to get in my head six months later. Sue. Or any woman on here, have you ever had an ex-boyfriend or partner that you still wanted to be with or you wanted them to feel the pain that you felt that they caused to you? Yes or yes? How many people in here listening to this, watching this on the replay, have you ever broken up with somebody and then six months later, a year later, still wanted them to feel the pain that they caused you? Because if you have, we could label that, that person, you're a narcissist then. Because you're still trying to get in their head and distort reality. That happens. And I'm not, Sue, I'm not saying that your dude or whoever it was that you dated was not a narcissist. Maybe they were. But what my problem is, is that, is it true? that every single person who didn't get along with their ex-boyfriend or her girlfriend is somehow a narcissist? Here's the thing, I'm not a doctor. So I, I'm not here to say, to diagnose people with shit, but like, let's talk about ADD and ADHD. See, we have a different conversation around that, some of us do, and our children. Oh, your kid's super hyperactive. 
he must have ADD. Would you be okay with everybody labeling your fucking child ADD? Just because your kid has a bunch of energy and doesn't want to sit in a fucking chair for nine hours a day and not move that energy? When their hormones are raging and they're figuring out how to be themselves? We're not okay with doing that to our children, so let's not be okay with doing that to our men. Because clearly this is a men, all men are narcissists. Ladies, yes or no? Have you been an asshole in your relationships before? Can you in hindsight look back and go, wow, I totally tried to manipulate that, re that portion of the relationship. I totally tried to control how he was and where he went and what girls he talked to or didn't talk to because I was insecure myself. Because I can tell you that I have. I've been a total dick and that doesn't make me a narcissist. It makes me somebody who was dealing with my own insecurities. And I could blame that person and say that she was a narcissist, but like, is it true? Everybody is a narcissist. How about that? Everybody has some inflated, inflated version of themselves. Also a bunch of self-doubt, which is under all of that inflated version of ourselves. All of us try to distort reality when, when we want to be right about something, like right now. All of us have these moments. Like somebody said, you know, they're talking about bipolar. I think it's a fucking spectrum. I think everybody's bipolar. Everyone. Some of us hide it better. Some of us have better masks, but it doesn't mean that we get to run around just throwing that label at every single human. Thank you, Livy. Thank you, everybody who's on here. Even those of you who don't agree with me, I get it. You're listening, you're watching, but you're not commenting because you don't want to be attacked. I get it. And I won't attack you. I just won't agree with you. And we don't have to agree. We, we legit don't. But back to that conversation. My friend was punched in the fucking face with a cell phone. And he never thought I should call the police. This is abuse. I should break up with her. I was punched in the face, had my windows busted out threatened in many different forms and fashion, manip manipulated to the ends of the earth. And I still will not call that person a narcissist. They were just trying to figure out how to be themselves in a relationship. So, for those of you wanting to make this a man versus women thing, fuck you. We're all dealing with the same stuff. Love you all. Blessings and blessings. I am. We are. Hashtag love's voice. Hear me. That's love's voice too. That's love's voice too. It just doesn't come in the shiny package that you wanted to. But I'll still continue to be me all day, every day. Hurrah! Let's get it.